Warriors TV and Warriors.com on location in Fremont. You know, training camp starts for the Warriors this next week, but this weekend, point guard Charles Jenkins taking part in a great community event here in the East Bay that's been going on for well over a decade, and he's doing it with his mom right alongside. I'm here with my best friend. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story about my mom. Um, my first fight, she jumped in. <laughs> That's what moms do. And she, and she, she's been my best friend ever since. But um, in all seriousness, um, I'm here today to commend all the survivors. You know, this is a beautiful day. Quarry Lakes Regional Park was host to the 13th annual Keep Abreast 5K Walk, 5 and 10K Run, where the Warriors' Charles Jenkins was not just a special guest but a participant, along with his mother, Patricia, a breast cancer survivor. Why is something like this really impactful and important for you to not just be here yourself, but to bring your mom from New York to be here? Um, it, it changed my life, you know. Um, going, in the, going to college, that's around the time my mom was diagnosed with it, you know, and it had a tremendous impact on me just because, you know, like I said earlier, this is my best friend, you know, and I definitely don't want to see anything bad happen to her. I definitely don't want to lose her. So, you know, the fact that, you know, she survived and, we're out here with so many other survivors and listening to so many stories, you know, similar to the things that we went through. You know, it's, it's great to have her here. You know, so when I called her and I told her about it, she was all for it. You know, and she, she, she's still, you know, excited to be here and meet all these people. You know, she, she's dressed in all pink, you know, like, like, like everybody's supposed to, and, and we're excited to be here. I couldn't wait to get to work so I could get those days off because this is the first time I've ever done this. So when he called to say, that let's do it, I was like, okay, sure, sure. Then I'm home trying to figure out, I got to get my pink sneakers, I get some great pants, I get a shirt. I'm trying to get my gear, everything together. He was like, Mom, don't worry, we have that. Uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to be here. Just as the organizers were thrilled to have the Jenkins family involved, Charles was equally glad to bring his mother to this event presented by the HERS Breast Cancer Foundation, which supports women healing from breast cancer, providing post-surgical assistance regardless of financial status. Dr. Vera Packard is the foundation's executive director. You can really tell how it meant to him to see his mother going through and that she's doing well now. And he wants to celebrate that, not every year, every single day. We're very proud and honored that he chose us to be here with us today. We are extremely honored. Having already dealt with one family tragedy growing up, the death of his brother Kareem, the decision to stay close to home and in New York while playing college basketball at Hofstra was directly influenced by Charles wanting to stay close to his mom. I was I was um, 16 years old in my senior year of high school. Um, it, it was actually around the, the recruiting process, you know. Uh, my dad was the one that kind of told me, you know, my mom was, was very, you know, she was hurt at the time, so she wasn't able to, you know, talk about it and anything. My dad was the one that kind of set me aside and let me know what was going on, what's going to happen for the next, you know, couple of days, and now she's going to begin surgery. And I was actually in the recruiting process, which is, you know, for a basketball player, it's a very important time, and uh, I, I was. It, it made everything easy. You know, I was. I wasn't you know, going to visit all these schools because I knew I didn't want to be so far from my mother. You know, I wasn't trying to go to prep school to get more schools. I was just, you know, content with the schools that, that was interested in me, and, and that, that played a major part in me going to Hofstra. You know, uh, Hofstra was only 15, 20 minutes away from my house, so I figured, you know, if my mom ever needed anything, she needed help with anything, she needed to rise to the doctor's office or something. You know, I could always just be, you know, that far away, so I could always be able to help her. Tell me how the Jenkins family circled around you and helped you fight to get better. Cause they, they really helped me a lot because when I was diagnosed with it, the first thing I say, out of a family of eight girls, why me? So then, you know, to the point where I just gave up. I didn't want to do nothing, I didn't want to eat. And Charles was like, Ma, let it go. Let it go. I'm going to need you. So let it go. She knows that she's my best friend and she knows how much she means to me. I think that's that's one of the main reasons that, you know, she's here because she knows that she you know, she she's overcame, you know, she's more excited about basketball season, but she knows how, how important this day is to me, so that's why she's here. After NBA Summer League, where Charles shined in the Warriors' perfect 5-0 run in Las Vegas, he was a fixture back in the Bay Area this offseason at the practice facility, getting ready for his second season and some big things to come. Training camp starts Tuesday. How excited are you to get back with the guys and really get ready for what's a big season to come? I'm very excited. You know, uh, I think this, this offseason we made a lot of a lot of good moves as a team. You know, it's time to put it together. You know, it's, summer's a long time when you're not playing, you know, especially when the season's here and you, you're used to playing every day and then you have that time in the summer where you're not playing at all. You know, I think it's time to get back to work and, and for us to get to the gym and get better. When you think of the sweetness of a day like this and being able to spend it with your son, how much of this is gratifying, not just watching him 
be a professional in the NBA, but also be such a great son. Yeah, to, to, today is, is um, just me and Charles Day. I put it that way. As far as the breast cancer walk, it's just we're doing it together. Today, we're a team. I think we came in last place because we tried to speak and take pictures with everybody, but had a great time. And my mom is very happy, so I'm happy. So for Charles and the rest of the Warriors, next week is a big week ahead. First with media day on Monday, then on Tuesday, the start of training camp, leading into the exhibition season, which then will take us right up to the season opener in Phoenix at the end of October. And our coverage is just getting started, so do keep it right here on Warriors TV and Warriors.com.